looking at that same grave. I know that it won't. That's gonna leave me at mine. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Thank you so much for coming and helping us to celebrate the life <laughs> of Dorothy Harris. And uh, I have to say, she had uh, quite a life. A uh, very, I would think, fulfilling one with 23 grandchildren and two great-grand. Yeah, I think she, uh, <laughs> she had her fair share. I would like to have my good friend Isis come up and uh, share a prayer with us. Hi. I'm just going to say that, that that what Judy said is very true. I met them in 1982. We came to decide. 82? Okay. 82. And they are truly a testament to China Dolls. Like I, I've never called her Miss Dorothy or Miss Hannah. I always call her China Doll, so I'm going to say China Doll. So this, it is truly a testament to her life of what a good person she was because everything she poured into them, they poured out. I never have to worry about support from this family because trying to bow to thing. Okay, so before I pray, I'm just going to read a scripture. This is Psalms 25, six, uh, five, 4 through 5. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me 
in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation, and on thee do I wait all the day. So I read that one because, like I said, she, she was an exemplification of what he means by love. Unconditional, consistent, and uncompromising. And that's what I got from Judy, and that's what I got from Carla, that's what I get from my now nephew. Anybody ask me who this woman is, this is my sister, that's my niece, that's my nephew, that's my brother. That's how everybody has ran down. So we're going to pray now. <laughs> Father God, we, we come before you today humbled and grateful that you have taken our mother, our grandmother, our aunt, our sister, our love to you in heaven on this day. We ask that you be with us during this service. You let the Holy Spirit run free, run free in here. You support, encourage, and love on us while we send her home on a celebration of life. We thank you for the time that she was with us and ask that you bless this time that we're together to celebrate her. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. everybody, my name is Derek Tino. I am China Doll's oldest grandson. Um, she took care of me a lot of, most of my life. And I will forever miss her and be grateful for her. Uh, I'm just gonna read this Psalm here. Um, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want he maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming out. Today we're here to celebrate Dorothy's going home. Dorothy Catino Harris, aka China Doll, and Dot, was born in Newark, New Jersey, to two loving parents, Lee and Claudia Catino, in Newark, New Jersey. She spent her early childhood in between Connecticut. Hartford and New Jersey. While in New Jersey, she married her love of her life, John Bernard Harris. After residing in East Orange, New Jersey for many years, they finally moved to Arizona to finish out their life. My mother was employed at East Orange Board of Education for many years until she retired. She loved her work and the many children and people she touched along the way. Dorothy accepted Christ at an early age. She was a faithful member of the New Hope Baptist Church in New Jersey. And then when she moved to Arizona, she became a member of the Family of Faith Ministries in Phoenix, Arizona. China Doll was devoted to her family and friends. She was known as a kind, compassionate, and loving person. Any type of problem you had, if she could help, she would. That's the way she was. 
She never say nothing bad about you. She tell you only the truth. Dorothy is preceded in death by her parents, Lee and Claudia, her sister Lula May, and my father John, my sister Carla, and my very special Uncle Ray Brown, my very special, her very special friend. And she, she leaves to cherish her memory, her brother Lester Dixon, her children, me, myself, my sister Jewel, eight grandchildren, Derek Jr., Farrakhan, Brandon Lamont, Austin, Maurice, Nikita, Kayla, and Brandon Paul. 23 great-grandchildren and two great-grand. And a host of other loving relatives and friends. Glad you're going home, Mom. Take it easy. Love you always. Chana Dahl was born in Newark, New Jersey. I believe it was Prince Street. Uh, that's all I remember her talking about when she was coming up is Prince Street, Marketplace, Stuyvesant. And she had four children my brother, myself, my sister, and another brother, and grandchildren, great-grandchildren. There wasn't a person or child that Dorothy met that she didn't pull into her family and they became another daughter or son or granddaughter or grandson or niece or nephew. She loved people and family. Family was definitely a big thing with her. So she was always adopting somebody's kids or children or even adults. China doll, I know you're up there with your mother and your grandfather, your husband, your daughter, your best friend, Ray, your sister, and you're flying high with the angels. Rest in peace, Dorothy, China doll, Dot, or Mom, or Grandma, depending on <laughs> where she put you at in the family. Um, but she was always taking in more <laughs> every day if she could. Uh, if anyone would like to come up and say a few words about Dorothy. Um, because uh, if you met her, <laughs> you, you knew how much she enveloped you into her life. Hi, uh, my name is Kathy Coates. I dated China Doll's daughter, Carla. My mother passed in 03, and she saw I was struggling. And with a wine cooler in hand, she's like, honey, come here, come here. Okay, so I kind of staggered over there. She's like, I know your mama's gone, but I'll take her place until you catch up with her. So what's bothering you? Oh, I'm fine. No, what's bothering you? No, I'm fine. Girl, if you don't tell me what's wrong with you, I'm going to slap the taste out your mouth. Okay, <laughs> that is trying it all. She, she'll do it nice until she has to do it rough. She had like a scoop of Tina Turner in her. And she was there. 
but she did help me with the grieving of my mom and when her daughter was untimely taken from us I was right there holding her hand making sure everything was okay and I told her I will be here no matter what till your head gets cold because that's what my mama told me I need to do with those that were good to me and she was no matter what if it was a recipe she saw something she thought I might want to wear that was three sizes too big <laughs> here did you try this I'm like but it said it expired four years ago so no <sighs> she warmed my heart and she reminded me regularly no matter what I was loved and to know that she's not in any pain that she went peacefully that she's with her friends and family it warms my heart it warms my soul and I'm so very grateful to be a part of this wonderful family Judy has been quite the sister mom <laughs> however please don't tell her anything because she will tell everyone else I love you snitch but you can't hold water <laughs> and I, I've I don't feel like I'm missing any family because I have Judy, I have Derek, I have nephew. He's named Derek, why go Derek and Derek Jr.? He's nephew. I don't think I've ever called you by your name. Mm -mm. I tried Googling just nephew and couldn't find him and I'm like, oh yeah, he has a first name. <laughs> Every time you go past the swap meet, remember, she is shuffling through there buying a bunch of things she did not need. Yep. Every time you were inspired to buy one little thing that you know you don't need, that's China doll whispering in your ear going, girl, you're going to need that in 10 to 12 years. <laughs> so, Ms. Harris, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your life. Hug your daughter for me. She's always got my back. Uh, always be a part of this family. Thank you guys so much for loving me as is. Kita. Come on down. My name's Nikita. I'm technically the baby out of all the cousins, all the grandkids. Taylor look confused, it's because I'm the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have many great memories of my grandmother from the swap meet to Pepsi, from Jersey to here. Just so many, so many great times from my high school graduation to my college graduation. She was there every step of the way. I feel like my grandmother has taught me the true definition of family. You know, every time you turn around, I got a cousin, I got a, a sibling I didn't even know about. I'm like, all right, cool. So, you know, just make, we'll make it, a, you know, Excel spreadsheet. We'll get everybody's name. We'll just update it regularly. Um, but I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss, you know, checking on her, making sure that she's okay. It's just a really weird adjustment for me. But... And knowing that she's at peace and that she is, she's okay, is, it's enough. Mm -hmm. Right, that's enough. And I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss her yelling at somebody, telling her to leave her alone, let me sleep. I'm going to miss that, but she's okay. That's, that's what matters, that she's okay. To my grandmother, I honor you. I cherish you. And I hope that you're doing well. Hug Carla for me. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. I would just like to thank everyone for the cards, the kind words uh, that I was called or they texted me um, because they weren't able to be here with us today, but they wanted to let the family know how much China Doll meant to them and how much of an impact she made in their lives. 
So I would like to thank everyone for that. And Sister Isis will come and give us the closing prayer. And thank you so much. <laughs> so here I am again. I speak loud enough. I don't think I need that. Do you need me over here? Would that be better? Okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll come back over here. But um, so my husband has stepped out. But if there's anybody before I do this that wants to know the Lord as their Lord and Savior because he created that wonderful person that connected all of us here right now, I will pray with you right now before we close out in prayer. Is there anybody that wants to? No? Okay. Don't look at me like that, Derek. <laughs> like, don't look like that. You live in Tucson, I think. <laughs> but, okay. So, um, and before we close, I'll just say that, um, like I said, China Doll was a very personification of what it means to love and walk with Christ. Um, there was no condition on her loving you. There was no performance of, that you had to do to be accepted. Um, you did have to take correction. You did have to do that. But other than that, um, like I said, 1982, I was a wayward teenager on a base in England, just running wild and free. I had parents, but what China Doll did with Judy, Judy poured into Carla and I, and, and that helped rein me in so that I can now be the person that I am. That I, I love and I, so that unconditional love, that accepting love, I'm, I'm like her, I have family and my kids like, mom, why do we still have those people? Because we love them, that's, that's just what you do. So if we are ready, we'll just go ahead and close out in prayer over my grandchildren that are making noise. <laughs> they can be quiet. All right, Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, your favor, your son that stayed on the cross for us, that died for us and bled for us. We thank you, Father God, that China Doll has you to come home to today and she will be with other family members on your right-hand side. We thank you for the example you sent us in her on how to walk a Christ-like life and share that word and that love with others. We ask, Father God, as we leave out of here today that we are never out of your presence. And during this time of grieving, that you continually hold our hand, our hearts, and our minds so that we may be confident knowing that our loved one is at your right-hand side and that she is living a life of joy now, and that we can rest in peace knowing that she's in your loving arm. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen.